Hi everybody, I'm Mac Ash with SoundersFC.com here in sunny San Jose where NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament has taken the city by storm. The Sounders FC are here with a little March Madness of their own. They'll take on the defending Supporter Shield winning San Jose Earthquakes. You know, they're a team that works hard, that tries to move the ball, that tries to put a lot of pressure on you defensively and, and through the, uh, that kind of uh, determination, you know, uh, create domination in the game. And, uh, you know, so it's a team that's going to, you know, be a good test for us. While it is a good test, it's not one that the Sounders are approaching with their full squad. Midfielder Mari Martinez and forwards Eddie Johnson and Obafemi Martins are all away for national team duty, meaning the Sounders will have to utilize their depth this weekend. We know that we we have a strong a strong team, and if we are uh, if we have a good day, we can beat everybody in the league. So uh, it's just a mentality that we we have to, to be so sure that we are able to or capable to to take wins out of uh, the games against San Jose and Salt Lake, and then we should be able to to take something. As a as a group, uh, we are very strong too. We we just missed. Two players, two important players, but uh, uh, we have to step up and uh, do our best. The Sounders may be missing key players, but so are the Earthquakes. Defenders Victor Bernardez and Justin Morrow are both away, as forwards Stephen Lenhart and Alan Gordon are both recovering from injuries. That will put more pressure on Chris Wondolowski, who led the league in scoring while matching the MLS record with 27 goals last year, and will be a key opponent for the Sounders on Saturday. Uh, it makes it a little bit harder for Wando because he's got to be a little more uh, of the target as well as just being the guy who runs off the target. And I think when he has uh, one of those two guys out there, it makes his game a little bit easier because they they focus so much attention on themselves because of their style of play that sometimes you forget about Wando. And without that, you know, I think the uh, the opponent's attention is a little more directed towards him. Uh, I mean, he's he's just always in the right spots. You you got to keep an eye on him. You know, when you think you have him, you don't. He, and if he's got a yard, he's going to score. So you know, you always have to just you know keep a body on him, stay tight, um, and make sure you're not just letting him run around because he's going to find those spots and he's going to put the ball away. Saturday will be the Sounders' first road game of the. Sometimes I think going on the road sometimes is good early in the season because it's a reminder of, okay, we're in the season. You know, here we go. You know, this is the, this is, uh, the, uh, the routine, so to speak, and, and gets ourselves into that routine again. Kickoffs at 7.30 Pacific time. You can watch the game live on King 5 television or listen on 97.3 Cairo Radio. Also follow the live blog right here on SoundersFC.com or by following on Twitter at Live Sounders. For SoundersFC.com in San Jose, I'm Matt Gash. Thanks for joining us. They asked me to do an ad and I thought, cool. They want me because I play for the Seattle Sounders. Then I find out it's because my wife told them I'm a good dad, even better. For me, being a good father is much more important than soccer. So here's my message. Be a good parent. Stay involved with your kid's life. Do something with them, anything. Take a walk, read a book, maybe go see a Sounders game. We can make it better for our kids by staying involved and showing that we love them.